Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. We are going to see Load Runner, the great load testing tool from HP. Before we get into Load Runner, we strongly advise the audience to go to OpenMentor.net and then learn these concepts. There is a link for performance testing concepts under testing tools. If you get into that performance testing concepts, there are four videos. It is better that you go through these videos. This is the preliminary thing and this is a prerequisite before you start actual load runner course in practice. This is very important for uh, everyone to understand what is performance testing and what are the different types of performance testing like load, stress, scalability, etc. We will now go to Load Runner. Once you go to HP site, register and then download Load Runner and install, you will get this up in your start menu. Uh, we have installed a Load Runner 11.5 evaluation version. This is strictly for self learning purposes. If you want to use it for commercial purposes, please contact HP for licensing policies. So once you install, you will get this menu. Load Runner has got three different parts. The first part is virtual user generator, which is the scripting part. The second part is creating users and then running the users, which is called the controller part. The third part is analysis. Once the execution is over, it will produce the results based on response time, hits, throughput, etc. So you need to go through this analysis part. Uh, in this uh, session, we are going to see the sample application which is actually provided by HP itself along with Load Runner. If you go to the samples, there is a web, web tour application. Before you start, you have to click on this start web server. If you do that, a small prompt will come over. This is uh, the web server prompt. Don't close this. Just minimize it. If you want to access the application, the sample application, you can go here, the the site is uh, 127, this is the local host slash web tours index.html. The first part is you need to sign up. It's just a dummy user ID. I say uh, James, I'm just giving James as password and then I continue. So once I uh, entered my details. It has registered me. Then let me sign off. Now I log in as James. I give the password, enter. It's a very simple application but very powerful application. Uh, whatever you see in online flights booking or hotel booking, you would see the same thing over here. This is for flights. You click on the flights button. It will show you find the flight. You choose the departure city. I am saying uh, London to uh, Los Angeles and then return date is uh, you can enter the date now I'm saying there are two passengers I want to reserve for I want window seat uh, first class click on continue button it shows a set of flights available now I choose a different flight then I click on this continue it asks for the credit card details now you can say um, James I'm just giving the credit card number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four now I am entering the expiry date as 10 14 I click continue it shows that the ticket is reserved so if I go back to home page it says this if I go to my itinerary it says there's a ticket if you want to cancel click this ticket and then say cancel the checked the ticket is gone you sign off this is the basic application that we are going to load test. If uh, 20 different people log in, if 20 different people book the tickets, what happens to the ticket? That is exactly what we are going to see in uh, this session. The first part is we need to go to this and then go to this virtual user generator. So once you start virtual user generator, this is the actual scripting part of load runner. Uh, it, it, it may take a few minutes, maybe not more than one or two minutes. Uh, first time when it starts, it loads a lot of libraries, so you have to wait for that time. So the first part is always 
you need to create scripts. How one user will log in, how one user will book the ticket, how one user will uh, see the itinerary, you need to show the sequence of events. It is called user journey or the load testing scenario. So you have to record that. Then you may have to do some enhancements to the script and then start replaying. Without virtual user generator, you cannot create a script. So let us wait for this to come up. Once it is up, we will show uh, what all the things that we can do with virtual user generator. This particular session, uh, this is a series of sessions. Uh, in Loadrunner, you will have how to record, how to replay, then how to parameterize, then how to give transactions, etc. Then how to create users in controller, how to run the users, how to generate the graphs. All these things we will see in this series of lectures. Uh, if you go through this series of lectures, then you will be in a position to at least start with Loadrunner to get the basic things, basic load testing going on for your application. Uh, for advanced concepts, yes, you may have to practice, you may have to use it in your live projects. That will take a little bit time, but it's, it's better that you go through these basic sessions. Then you will have a fairly good amount of idea. So welcome to Loadrunner Virtual User Generator. So you see here, there is a left hand side panel called Solution Explorer. Then here you have got some of the links and you have got the recent scripts over here and there is a panel called a snapshot panel. You can resize any of these panels, not a problem. So you can expand and within every panel you have got different tabs also available. See here under this panel you have got multiple tabs. So within this you have recording and replay tab, within this you have got output, task, lot of tabs available. And you see the standard menu, file, edit, view, then there's a record button, uh, ALM is, is for application lifecycle management, then there are tools available with Loadrunner, then you can get the online help also from virtual user generator. The first part is you need to create a solution. Okay. Suppose I say create a new script and solution, then it will ask for a solution. A solution is nothing but a group of scripts and uh, a set of uh, uh, associated files and settings. Now it says, what is the protocol you want to choose? Loadrunner can test almost uh, most of the applications in the world, right from .NET protocol, Citrix protocol, Flex protocol, Java, HTTP, LDAP, you have got tons of protocols available over here. In our sessions, we are going to use the web HTTP protocol. So I choose the protocol. If your application uses multiple protocols, you can select that and then select multiple. Now I am going to use only single protocol. Now I say uh, the single protocol, the script name is sample1. I click create. The moment I do that, it starts loading the solution. It will create a solution. It will load the solution. Now it says solution untitled. You can go here and then save the solution or click on the properties. You can suppose you want to name it as uh, something else. You can do that as well. That is possible. Now you can close any of these panels when you want. Under this solution you got this sample script. The script has got actions, extra files and the include files, runtime settings, parameters, replace, uh, replay runs. This is how many times you replayed the results are going to appear over here. Within actions you could see vuser init, action and vuser n. There are three functions. Uh, if you look here, uh, if I double click on this vuser init, it has vuser in it, open bracket, close bracket, open brace, close brace, return zero. This uses C-like syntax. 
for different protocols you can use different syntax but for web it uses C like syntax so there are three empty functions when you create a script which is already available so what I'm going to see show now is I want to record a script so first create a solution and a script then click on record and then this recording window opens whether you want to record a web application or a windows based application now I want a web based application you can choose the browser between Firefox and Internet Explorer I choose Internet Explorer and this is the URL of that now it says start immediately I click start recording and it will open up a, a new browser so do not record anything on any of the open browsers this opens a new Internet Explorer you could see something uh, going on this is called events the request and response are going on now I enter James I enter here James click login so this user goes in and then clicks on this itinerary he just goes there and then he logs off that's all he's not booking any ticket now I click the stop button it appears and then it will generate the script the script will get generated you could see that script coming back in a, in a few seconds okay now the script is ready so right now it opens up a studio this is called the correlation studio we will see that later I close this window now you see under init there is empty under actions whatever I have recorded it just appears so it says this is the URL I went then I waited for 10 seconds then I logged in as James then I clicked on this button I signed off that's all it says so the script we just recorded if you want to make sure whether it works fine or not click replay you click on this it will take a few seconds to start then it will execute it will execute step by step and then you will see th this is called the step navigator panel so here you could see and then in this area also once the script starts you could see a yellow arrow pointing up saying that this line is executed this line is executed etc so once you replay the virtual user generate, uh, generator just runs the script when you run through v user generator it is for one user one time later on we can do some changes or the configurations in runtime settings before that we will just wait till the run gets completed so v user generator is used to now it is running you could see this yellow coming up now it has finished that now it says script has successfully been executed a green tick mark comes at the bottom you could see the replay log showing up and then uh, it is hitting that server and then this is this URL is done this URL is done for each step it says whether it is done correctly or not so this is the basic thing on virtual user generator we just created a solution created a script recorded on the application replayed it on the application we will do some enhancements to the scripts in subsequent sessions thanks for visiting openmentor.net thank you